the art of horology is really important because it's literally time. Like everybody needs to know what the time is to get to work, to get to a meeting, to get to anything in life basically is dictated by time. My name's Tim Stewart and I'm a horologist which is a watch and clock repairer and restorer here in Melbourne uh, doing fourth year of my apprenticeship. My fascination with clocks and watches started at a young age, always just trying to find watches and that around the house so that I could just play around with. Um, not to the same extent that I am now, it was more breaking things than fixing them. So as soon as I finished year 10, went straight into uh, boiler making apprenticeship because well, I was helping dad out in the shed every weekend as it was. So thought it was the best uh, transition. And I had a few health issues from that, industrial asthma and that. So I needed to get out of it. Plus I wanted to find something that was more passionate about. So I started ringing around everywhere, trying to find somewhere that would take me on. And here I am. <laughs> well, as you can see, all the clocks around me, we've restored and brought back to life. Uh, first you serve the customer, find out the history of it, how it's been running for the last 10, 15 years, all that kind of stuff. It's service history find out what needs to be done, what they want done, and then you go through with a fine tooth comb, checking over every single little bit for wear and tear, all that kind of stuff, and then you just clean it all down, fully restore it, bring it back to life. I feel like I'm one of the last watchmakers in Australia and the last that I know of in Victoria is because it's not as well known. Um, would just love for it to be publicised a bit more, uh, just so, people do know it exists. Yes, there is the digital side of it, but we need, still need uh, analog and mechanical clocks and watches because you buy a digital watch or something, it's got a lifespan. Everything electric has a lifespan. You're looking 15 years usually for a quartz movement where a mechanical watch can last you for hundreds of years if it's correctly restored. So you can buy 15, uh, digital watches or you could buy one mechanical watch and that's going to keep you for your whole life. As soon as you see that balance wheel start ticking on that very first one you've got to work on it's the greatest feeling because you, you just get that sense of pride hey I made that happen and then just any piece that a customer has a lot of sentimental value in it and you taking it from them bringing it back to life and it, you give it back to them they're just shocked that it's the same clock and you've done that for them, you've brought it back to life for them so they can continue passing that on down the generations and it's something that is always going to be there. And there's still a lot of people out there that are very passionate about their watches and the market is still a multi-billion dollar business so there is still the need for watchmakers and we are still here. <laughs>